little meal, and then... And while they slept, the castle tumbled down. <laughs> said, work harder! His workers built again lair on the lair on the lair on the lair and though Vortigon went to bed with a smile as he slept the castle tumbled down they knew they weren't up to the job, and they feared that Vortigern would discover the child. Really? So they came up with a plan. <laughs> we've read the runes, and we've delved in the entrails. <laughs> Here is what you must do, mighty Vortigern. You must find a baby whose mother is of earth, but whose father is from the spirit world that his castle tumbled. He said, look down, down below the earth. Are you looking? <laughs> Deep down, there is a lake. A lake of shimmering waters. Well, what should I do, <laughs> said the king? Tell your people to dig. So Vortigern said, Dig! But they stood watching the shadow play. Dig! 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 They stood watching the shadow play. Dig! And from the depths rose. Two dragons. A red one. And a white one. And they began to dance. But they danced so badly that the whole earth shook. It was like most nights at dance camp. <laughs> there was no music. What do I do, said Vortigo. And from his nappy, Merlin pulled a magic boot. <laughs> and suddenly, the dragons danced in harmony. 